short history of dance. The medieval age was a period of time which started in the 5th and lasted until the 15th century. During this long era, culture of dance went through significant development. It was shaped by big social changes, growth of new religions, and even by the international plague. To discover the diversity of dance art during this era, we will take a closer look at the history of each continent. Africa In Africa, medieval time was a period of quick growth, a gold age. Thanks to the rich resources of the continent, Africans built big trade roads which allow them to sell gold and salt to merchants from around the world. Because of the good economy, African countries slowly turned into empires, like Kanembonu Empire or Ajuran Empire. Africans had tradition of oral culture, therefore we don't have many written sources about African dance forms from this era. We can assume how they looked like based on the modern dances which originated from the past. For example, here is a video of Maasai dance called Adumu. Adumu is the traditional jumping dance performed by Maasai tribes from the territory of modern Kenya and Tanzania. Accompaniment for this dance is created by singing dancers. They compose choreography from multiple jumps. Maasai tribes take pride in the highest jumps in human history. Some of them were recorded to rise to 8 feet and 4 inches. Africans created multiple vibrant cultures. Based on the abundance of dance forms that survive to this day, we can say that all inhabitants of this continent treasured dance in their society. Let's take a look at the second example. Here we can see Siphaka dance, performed by Swati people from territory of modern Eswatini. This dance is performed to vocal and percussion accompaniment. It is danced by male performers and it originated from the warrior dance. <laughs> Unfortunately, with the end of medieval times, African dance culture was strongly diminished by two political events. Firstly, in the north part of the continent, Muslim Caliphate introduced Islam, religion which did not support public dance. Secondly, Western European countries started their intervention, which resulted in dreadful transatlantic enslavement and made a huge damage to the African culture. Asia West. During period of medieval times, West Asia experienced huge cultural revolution. At the north of the region, two political forces, Byzantine and Persian empires, were at constant war. In the meantime, during 7th century, in the Arabian Peninsula grew a new political power, religion of Islam. It dominated culture and belief system of West Asian area. Muslim conquest led to growth of Islamic empire called Caliphate. It controlled land from Spanish Andalusia, 
through North Africa up to territory of modern Kashmir. The growth of Islam had significant meaning for the dance culture. Caliphs were known of their strong support for the development of arts and education. Unfortunately, some conservative believers understood that Holy Book of Islam, Koran, doesn't support public dance. Because of it, there was decline in dance culture. The dances that were performed at the time were connected with pre-Islamic ethnic groups, and more liberal Muslim groups like Sufi's Dervish order. Dervish ritual dance takes its roots from ancient Persian dances. Performers use spinning movement which allows them to reach an ecstatic trance. Dancers while whirling lift their hands above their head. They rotate on their left foot, using right foot to create the impetus from the rotation. Accompaniment is delivered by drums, flats and singing voices. Dervish monks perform this dance up to this day. Here we can see a beautiful video recording of one of those performances. Asia Mongol Empire Medieval times in Central and East Asia were dominated by the growth and influence of the Mongol Empire. It was the largest continuous empire in the human history. It stretched from Eastern Europe to Sea of Japan. It extended from Siberia to Indian subcontinent. The founder of the empire, Genghis Khan, invented a political system that allowed conquered countries to govern their own land continue to practice their own religion and cultivate individual culture. This political system gave Mongol Empire stability to develop huge trade routes. As a result of freedom of culture and economic growth, multiple dance forms were thriving on the territory of the empire. Let's take a closer look at a few of them. In Central Asia, nomadic tribes of Mongols practice biegli, a traditional dance that represents stories of nomadic life. We find reference to it in the oldest literary work in Mongolian language called The Secret History of the Mongols. Biegli was traditionally performed in small spaces. Therefore, footwork in this dance form is very limited. Dancers often are cross-legged or half-sitting. Most of the movements are executed by the upper body parts. Performers imitate aspects of herders' lifestyle, such as milking the cow, cooking and hunting. The second beautiful example of dance form from territory controlled by Mongols is a Korean Gangangsura. It is a folk dance which originated from the harvest ritual. It incorporates singing, dancing and playing. It is performed only by female dancers. The most characteristic movement for this form is Vonmu, a counterclockwise spinning motion. The overall character of this dance is playful and energetic. medieval time in Central and East Asia is dominated by the division and fall of the Mongol Empire. Thanks to the multicultural character of this state, art of dance wasn't affected by this political change. 
multiple dance forms from this period of time are practiced to this day. Asia, South During medieval times, the south part of Asian continent was divided by the influence of two significant cultures, Indian states and Khmer Empire. After the fall of Gupta Empire in the 6th century, Indian Peninsula was divided into multiple states. Each one of them had distinctive culture and language. Every state created unique dance style. Eight of them became popular and were classified by scholars as classical dances. Indian civilization was always one of the most dedicated to nurturing and recording dance art. Therefore, we have rich sources about classical dance forms. Here is a recording of one of them. It is named Odissi and it originated from the state of Odisha. It was a dance form performed predominantly by women. Traditionally, it was danced in temples. Topic of the performances were religious stories. In Odissi, every movement, face expression and costume has symbolic meaning. Movement vocabulary of this dance is focused on geometric symmetry and rhythmic musical resonance. Second important culture during medieval times in the territory of the South Asia was the Khmer Empire. It was a state in Southeast Asia that existed from the 9th to 15th century. It covered the territory of modern Cambodia, Thailand, Laos and southern Vietnam. Khmer Empire was a very powerful and wealthy state. Thanks to those factors, culture in it was blossoming. Medieval Cambodians had huge respect for their dance forms. Just like in India, scholars created a list of classical dances called Dances of Royal Wealth. One of them was Apsara dance. It was a dance form performed in temples by female dancers. People believed they were incarnations of spirits who protected temples. Therefore, the character of the dance is the reflection of the divine nature. Dancers used slow-paced movements with a focus on hand motion to create a hypnotizing effect for the audience. Apsara is known for having over 1500s defined gestures. <laughs> Australia and Oceania In medieval times, continent of Australia and Oceania was inhabited by indigenous tribes. Dance played an essential role in their culture. It was used in marriage ceremonies, rituals and social gatherings. Frequently dances were used as tribes' precious commodity. They had secret character and were performed in secreted spaces. The reason behind this secretiveness was a strong conviction that dance has magical powers. Unfortunately, we don't have detailed information about dance in Australia and Oceania from this period of time. Since the 18th century, Western European countries started colonization of this continent. They implemented politics focused on intense destruction of the indigenous cultures. Nowadays, descendants of the indigenous tribes try to recreate the forgotten dance forms. Here is an example of a kangaroo dance from Australia. 
This form was performed by hunters who imitated actions of animals to gain their strength and dexterity. Kangaroo dance was performed to receive the powers of the spirits and have a successful hunting. The accompaniment for this dance is delivered by the instrument called the Jeritu. <laughs> North America During the Middle Ages in North America, multiple civilizations developed. The east side of the continent was inhabited by the Mississippian culture. It was a highly developed settled civilization with big cities like Cahokia. In the center of the continent on the Great Plains lived a population of numerous nomadic tribes. Another prominent culture from this continent flourished in the south, in the territory of modern Mexico. It was called Aztec civilization. All indigenous Americans created hundreds of dance forms dedicated to rituals and entertainment. Unfortunately, we don't have many records of those historical dances. Since the end of medieval times, West European settlers introduced multiple bands on indigenous dances and ceremonies. It was an attempt to impose their own culture on local people. Currently, many modern indigenous Americans are recreating the historical dances of their ancestors. Here is an example of one of them. It is a solo dance from one of the powwows. Powwow is a secret social gathering held by many North American communities. In this choreography, we can see a male performer using characteristic stomping movement. He spins around his axis, often using a jumping motion. The main accompaniment is delivered by singing voices and drums. <laughs> The second example of the North American dance form is Concheros. It was a dance performed by Aztecas, Chinchimecas and Mexicans. Currently dance has syncretic nature, combining pre-colonial and Christian traditions. Concheros dancers dance in groups called Mesa. Group has strong hierarchy and focuses on circular structure. Older dancers make more static rhythmic movements, while the younger dancers perform more energetic movements, including jumps and leaps. South America The medieval era on the continent of South America was a time of big civilizations. In the northwest existed Norte Chico, one of the oldest human civilizations. Some scientists claim it existed since the 27th century BE. Other civilizations on this continent were Muisica, Inca and Amazon. Each one blossomed thanks to fertile soil and abundance of mineral sources this continent had to offer. South America had numerous fascinating dance forms. However, with the end of medieval times, the Western European invasion changed the culture of those civilizations. 
Many colonizers enforced their Catholic religion on local people and forbid to perform pagan rituals. Some dances became syncretic forms combining both pre-colonial and colonial culture. One of those forms is Diablada. Diablada is an Andean folk dance that presents stories from indigenous mythology. Dance originated from territory of modern Bolivia. Performers are dressed in colorful costumes with big masks. They represent animals and demons. Accompaniment is delivered by orchestra. In the original form, dance had accompaniment made by siko instrument. Choreography is based on rhythmic steps and turns. Dancers perform minimal movement of hands and upper body because of the volume of the masks. <laughs> Europe. After the fall of Roman Empire in 476, Europe was divided into multiple small states, fighting with each other over the territory. Because of the constant political instability, people were looking for help from warriors who could protect their settlements. This process led to the creation of the feudal system. This social duality influenced the development of art of dance. Dances were divided into folk dances, accessible to everyone, and court dances accessible to elites. Here is an example of the folk Polish dance called Oberek. Oberek is a lively folk dance that takes its name from spinning motion. Performers dance in couples and execute multiple lifts and jumps. Dancers usually compete while performing by trying to execute the most complicated acrobatics. Accompaniment is delivered by strings, instruments and dancers' voices. Oberek is recognized as one of the five Polish national dances. <laughs> At the end of medieval times, Europe was struggling with numerous misfortunes. Constant wars, the Little Ice Age and bubonic pandemic all affected the quality of life. The amount of austerity resulted in one of the most mysterious dances in human history, called Dance Mania. European scholars reported cases of people attending vigorous, unstoppable dance gatherings. Sometimes it affected the whole community, like it happened in Strasbourg in 1518. The intensity of dance often led to physical damage or even to the death of the participants. Another dance form from Europe created by the influence of social frustration was the dance macabre. The metaphorical performance which showed death, dancing with the king, nobles, beggars and other representatives of the society. This dance form was a protest against inequality in the society and the reminder that in the face of death, we are all equal. Dance macabre became popular motif in art and was used until the 15th century when new ideas and new dance forms flourished during the era of the Renaissance. Thanks for watching. If you want to help us create more content about dance, click a like button and subscribe to our channel.